What is up, guys? I'm Burin here today with another fantastic deck. Today I'm gonna present to you, well, another expanded deck, which is a Charizard, baby Charizard and expanded. And this is a quite interesting deck and definitely worth checking out and trying. Just to see, you know, this uh, Roaring Resolve interaction. Of course, Roaring Resolve, right? You put two damage counters on that Charizard and you take two uh, energies from your deck and attach it to your Pokemon. Of course, that Pokemon has to be this Charizard. Then, you know, we got a Continuous Blaze for two. You can discard every energy that you have under the po this Pokemon. It's 30 plus and 50 for each energy you discard that way. So with four, that's 230 damage, which is quite a lot of damage. And, of course, we're going to be using a lot of different things in this deck. So let's just go card by card and why we're using them here. So, as, in, as you can see, we're using a layer... Well, we're using a four Chamant. Why I'm using 60 HP ones? Because I only do have one Bridget. And, well, I want to use Elm's Lecture as well. So we do have Elm's Lecture for that Charmander. That's why a 60 HP one from X and Y Generations. Two Charmeleons for the Burning Fighter to speed things up in terms of, in terms of energy. Uh, you discard five cards from your deck and you put any energy you discard this way onto that Pokemon. And of course, you know, we have Versus Seeker in case we would discard uh, something, something that's important, like a supporter or a Rescue Stretcher for the Pokemon that we would discard that way. And of course, a play set of Charizard. Then we do play Heatran GX for the Burning Road and for Amazing GX Attack and Steaming Stomp. We also do play uh, Volcanion EX, so we can use Steam Up on him, on Victini, and on, on that uh, Heatran GX to have even more damage, right, the 30 additional damage on those three Pokemons with, of course, you know, Victini Prism and Infinity to bring back all the energy and deal enormous amounts of damage here, right, so those are our Pokemon line, that is our Pokemon line, definitely an interesting line, definitely you know, one of those lines that it's no not common, so worth checking out. Then we go to 32 trainer cards, and we do have two Fiery Flints to actually have a nice flow of energy in our hand, so we can discard it, so we can actually put it somewhere. And for the welder, right, for the welder itself, you do want to have energy in your hand. One fire crystal, we've got four nest balls to get the basics that we need. We got two Pokegears 3.0 to get to the supporters, two Pokemon communications, three rare candies to evolve right uh, into the Charizard with one rescue stretcher, and four ultra balls with two versus seekers to bring back the supporters that we discarded or used. Then we got two shrines of punishment to deal any addition, additional damage to our opponent's Pokemon with a two copies of Blacksmith and you attaching two energy cards from your discard pile to one of your fire type Pokemon. It can be an active Pokemon, so this li really speed things up for the Charizard. So it's almost like a welder here. But from the discard pile, we do have one Bridget and two Elm Selector to set up the turn one with four copies of Welder as our draw engine and you know of course the engine towards towards the fire type energy and 15 energy in total in this deck. So so definitely know that the strategy is you want to really get yourself into the position of having you know Charmanders and slowly building up towards them and maybe you know using Heatran and then you know Volcarona, uh, Volcarona Volcanion to deal even more damage on those like bigger guys that have more than 200 HP and you're not really uh, keen on using Charizard and of course Victini you know to bring back all the energy you're gonna use uh, with Charizards to the field. So the, the thing is, you know, the whole idea about the deck is quite simple and then expanded. It works quite, quite, quite uh, interestingly. So we're just going to cut to the games that uh, we've played on the stream. So I hope you're going to enjoy it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like that, for more decks, uh, more expanded, and of course, more standard format as expanded week is going to uh, go and say bye bye to us. And of course, down there below, you have a 5% discount any code purchase on Professor Oak. So you can actually get those codes uh, before Friday. And well, Let's just jump right into the deck, shall we? So how's it going, Selfish? How are you doing today? But yeah, like, that's true, right? You know how the words are changing their meanings or, or their connotations, right? No, like, like Steve, Steve Jobs is, you know, is not here anymore. But it, like, uh, what am I playing? I'm playing Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. So... It is one of those things that... Uh, oh, what am I playing? Uh, what deck? I'm playing the Baby Charizard right now. Uh, actually testing Baby Charizard. But it's, it's kind of funny to see you know, uh, the, the, those connotations changing from like you know, being an insult to, to become like a really normal phrase, and I like that. 
it's cool, you know, and I'm... Let's see, come on, we need a good draw. Come on. All right. I mean, at least we got Elm's Lecture. But we're treating this bad boy, it's gonna... I mean... I actually can make it an attacker. That's what I like to say. That's what I like to say. Other than Joe. <laughs> and then you ask, uh, who's Joe? <laughs> no, here's Timmy. Here, even Joe is nerd. Timmy is, 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 is one of those. He was intimidated by uh, Volcanic X. I mean, honestly, we did have, you know, Welder and Free Energy, so it could have been like a really cool turn. I take it a step forward. <laughs> Let's see against Herod. Uh, I like the coin. I, got, uh, I like the Lycanroc coin, and I like the fact that Lycanroc is coming back to Sword and Shield um, with the first expansion. I believe it's with first expansion. Yeah, I think it is with first expansion. It's coming back. Um, I'm mean, like glad of words. We knew it's not going to be standard. Right? We knew it's not going to be Sword and Shield, and. I, I like the you know I like the coins, and and it's also cool you know uh, there are some staples. Dragon's Exalted you know uh, not a bad set to open. But you know uh, right now it's just a good ladder to grind some coins to 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 get you know before Friday so you can actually open more packs with coins like that's how I treat my ladder uh, at least this this season. All right, Sableye, Sableye, and ship it. Ooh, boy. All right, so let, we'll see now what we're going to get from Pokegear, and depending on uh, what we're going to get from Pokegear, actually, I'm going to play a nest ball. But yeah, I can understand you know, that not everyone is always a fan of, like, expand or legacy type of things in uh, the latter. Because you have to play it to, 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 to appreciate it. You know, I'm playing Expanded World like four weeks per year, right? Because just before the new set releases, we're playing, you know, we've got an Expanded Week. So... I just more, more I was like, ah, oh, you know, cool, I'm going to add it to my collection, you know, and that's it. I'm going to make a Pro Gamer deck uh, by combining both Gotcha and Theme decks. Actually, you're laughing, but um, two years ago, combining p two Gotcha and Theme decks, that was like a proper t uh, proper deck for standard format in, in, in uh, TCGO. So yeah, like that was a valid, valid deck in standard format. But then they, you wanted to have, uh, they moved into having, uh, exactly, then you wanted to have like fighting type Garchomps with Diancei. Yeah. So it was a valid deck. Like right now, what you're doing is you're you kind of get a Malamar deck by combining two Ultra Necrozma decks, right? Or just Necrozma? No, it's just Necrozma deck. It's, so we can all laugh about it, but yeah, like that's you know, <laughs> in the old days, that's how how it was. <laughs> all right, Elm's lecture. Let's go, Chamanda, Chamanda, Chamanda. Uh, I have it, but uh, I don't have uh, why I can trade it. Okay, uh, let's play. And you see, you know, I, in all its honesty, we can just go with Devil Canyon right now. I mean, I do have. A blacksmith. Huh. And I can retreat. But I don't think, you know, retreating would make that much sense. Yeah, just let's just pass the turn. Uh, I would make a better deck, so, although I don't have uh, much cards. I mean, you know, slowly, right? So this is a great time to actually store some coins, uh, grind the ladder to get those coins, and, well, open a lot of packs. Open a lot of packs uh, from uh, Sword and Shield. What are my thoughts about the new theme decks? Uh, Rillaboom? Like, definitely those are the theme decks that you can combine and you can have. 
Well, if you're gonna buy some codes, you can always use my Professor Oak code with five percent discount. Uh, you can combine them and you know create really cool ideas with them. You know they do have some staples. Uh, then they do come with few trainers that are cool. So yeah, can I help you uh, with what? Wait, 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 uh... He's trying to trade time the matter, but uh, it's not showing in the trade list. Uh, uncheck, uncheck those um, filters. If you uncheck filters, it should appear. Okay, uh, well... Nothing besides, but you know, we're preparing here, so... Done. That ain't no problem. Fancy bell sometime? Um, sometime. Definitely not today. Like today we're getting closer and closer to the end. But you know, sometime, sure, to test some decks. No problem, dude. But you know, for the standard format, I mean, it's I know it's expanded week. We can play expanded, but yeah. Uh, I wait a month, so all the new set hype is over, and I can afford buying a ton of sort of. That's not a bad idea, actually. Okay. It's not over yet. It's slowly getting over, but it's not over yet. So let's bring back some energy with Blacksmith. And bring back Blacksmith. And uh, well, just a scratch. Unfortunately, just a scratch. What do you think about uh, the Kyogre and Gridon decks? Oh, those ones! I thought you were talking about the Sword and Shield. Uh, Kyogre... Gridon, quite bad. Kyogre... Um, you can put Kyogre into a standard deck. Uh, we have a Blastoise uh, deck on the channel, so you can actually check that out. When did I start playing trading card game? Um, two years ago. Two years ago, then I became a professor. Um, we have our own league, we have all of that stuff. But I did play the OG version uh, of the game, so... So I still have my base at base set 2 and the fossil, so... The first and the first me playing uh, the game was way, way, way back in the 90s. And then... It moves here. So, you know, if you want to subscribe to our amazing YouTube channel, it's over here. We've got more than five decks a week. Which is fantastic. And again, it's an expanded week, right? So this is the one week that we only play, only play expanded format. All right, finally we're gonna get that. Uh, we're gonna get that Charizard. There we go. Alright, so what's the maximum capacity right now? It's 130, right? So he can't go more than 130. So this will kind of works for me, but... Uh, Hall deck. I mean, like Hall deck, you know, with Kawa, it's still an amazing deck. Remember when it was in standard format? Really annoying one. I really like Mew 3 and Expanded. Oh, yeah, like Mew 3 and Expanded is amazing. I like the standard format Mew, to, uh, Mew 3, actually, or Mew 2 Mew with Malamar. I really do like that one. Okay, that's a retreat. Shady move. So I know he's dealing, you know, a shot of punishment damage to his own mons. But all the damage that's you know he's gonna inflict, he's gonna put somewhere else, like on my mods. 
Some of the attack team will confuse me because they are just so strong. That's true. But uh, the new rule and the, no, the sword and shield set changes that a bit. I feel like I asked you before, but uh, what is your favorite Pokemon so far? Um, like my favorite of all time, Magmar. Did uh, that I get so evil uh, with Marty? Yeah. But from the Sword and Shield, uh, from Sword and Shield, that is really hard. I mean, Rapid Dash looks great. Competitively, um, oh man. Dragapult is not bad. More Pico looks great. So I can say that from Sword and Shield. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with those. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with those in Sword and Shield. Alright, has eight cards left in the deck. Shadow Chant, Knockout. Yep, he got me. I mean, even, you know, with the Versus Seeker, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> do I like Sword and Shield? No. <laughs> yeah, he got me. Well, you know, it does happen, right? <laughs> it does happen sometimes. At least, you know, let's get to those Dragons Exalted uh, pack, and... I mean, come on, let's just get those, like, one or two nice Ws. Come on. We can do it. We can do it. Clap, 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 clap. But I can't believe, you now they adding... Uh, so they should make, like, a Sword and Shield miniature on Etsy. I think if you go on Etsy, I think they are already there. Like, based around the Sword and Shield. <laughs> I think they're already there. Um, but it's crazy that, you know, they're changing the rule today. It's insane. Because I did thought, you know, it's going to take them... Uh, I think it's going to... I hope it's going to take them, you know, more time, you know, at least until Friday. But today... Play Expanded Mill Tank. Uh, play that last time we were doing uh, Expanded Week. So I just want to try something new. But I might go back to the mill tank, you know, maybe on Friday. I don't say no. <laughs> so we got a peek around, Blitzy, so Zap Striker, Zapdos. Like, how is a weird play for... Uh, for, for, for... Uh, Hmm. Alright, communication, and let's just go. Heat run. Welder, one, of course, here, one, two. And pass the turn, right? I mean, I can play the Ultra Ball later. Just to see what happens and what we're gonna draw. Yeah, I'm <laughs> hit and miss. Uh, Golurk, already on YouTube, you can actually copy and paste the deck list. Okay, let me think. Alright, so I'm gonna start you know, inflicting any damage. Uh, two, 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 peak rum. <sighs> I mean, I know I can kind of play uh, Volcanion. But this is the, uh, yeah, this is now where Orangru would come in handy.
Yes, there is. But anyway, we've already done a goal work on the YouTube channel. Let's see who's gonna approach that. Why well, just a switch, a zap those, okay. Thudge. Yeah, this is a hit and miss. This is hit and mess, I believe, but let's play a few more games, we'll see. Biff Bat Wolf is calling the coin flip. Alright, dude, call the coin flip and let's see what we're gonna get in here. I mean, I just have to go first. If I'm going second, uh, this is not happening. If I'm going first, I do have a fighting chance. I'm not surprised that I've lost the coin flip, right? I'm not surprised at all <laughs> that we've lost that one. And uh, that he's going first. Okay. Come on. I'm done. Okay. This is this is not looking bad. This is finally not looking bad. We might actually do something. I mean, it's gonna take us a few turns, but still, we might actually do something. All right, my opponent selecting uh, starting, and well, this is Sharpedo EX. With the dark Knight of with restoration, so disability says that you know whenever it's knocked out, you can bring it back from discard pile and put one energy on it already from a discard pile as well. Seven hundred eighty HP. That's one hundred seventy. All right, Janin. Maybe the Danae? Nah, it's not. I think it might be more of Granger Zorak. Hey Presto, how's it going? Hello. <laughs> Don't have any clue on expanded cards. <laughs> That's all good. I mean, like, if I'm gonna, you know, treat this as a stall, what I'm gonna get, okay. So, Charmander. Charmander. Welder for the draw. Oh, this is not bad. So, I do have Charizard and Nikende. Pass. I'm reading uh, names of Pokemon and laughing at them. Really? So what are the finer ones? I'm glad Full Arts now have better background and a uh, Sword and Shield. That's true, like, Full Arts finally look good, because that was just a plane that was boring, I hated those. Now I'm starting to like Full Art uh, V cards, right? Because that was not... <laughs> I mean, that was not a background made for me, and I know that. The same goes to Reverse Hollow. I do like the new Reverse Hollow more than, than the old one. Uh, Morish is uh, there, no arrow of the card to show. I mean, have you posted the card for a trade? So, have you clicked on the card when it has like those two arrows next to each other and you made it for trade? 
like available for trade or, or, or not really right like they are okay let's see one two three four five okay one energy here Okay, so I can go for Bridget, and that's what I'm going to go for. Alright, Vulcanion. Alright. Roaring Resolve. So we're finally now getting the setup that we wanted. But at the same time, I kind of know that um, Hitran GX is just... He's gone. Like, let's accept, you know, his faith. His faith, he's gone. Like, Grimmer and Mook are literally stinky that and uh, stinker. <laughs> stinker <there. laughs> Oh, that's a good one. That's a really good one. <laughs> Oh, okay. Lysander. Okay, so fire crystal. Two energies. I mean, I still have a knockout over here with my uh, Charizard. When he clicked, uh, or it's not allowing him. Like, if those two arrows are not allowing, uh, this means that it's non-tradable. It might have a lock on it. Right, so this, this means that I'm going to attack for 30 more, right? But it's a fire, like, it's a basic fire type, so this is not... That's 160. Just gonna knock it out back. Alright, so we're in resolve. Two fifty. Uh, two thirty. So twenty not enough, but at least next turn yeah, I can just go for the GX and knock it out. Kill it. Not showing up and uh, just uh, not lying him. So if there are no arrows this means that it's not tradable. Like, at the bottom of the card, it should say, like, it, if it's locked or it's unlocked. And if their arrows are not showing up, this means it's locked and you can't trade it. Unfortunately, right? Like, that's the whole thing. So you have to check you know, if the card is actually locked or not, and it's at the bottom of the card every time. Like, just have to keep that in mind. Alright, so three prize cards for me. And he has a Hoopa. Come on, good prize cards. We need good prize cards. So there's like honestly nothing I can do about that, right? You know, uh, it's just locked card, and well, and that is it. That's a hundred. Okay, Pokemon communication. I have to go for a Victini.
Hey Kira, how's it going? Hello, how are ya? This is really not enough. I'm done. I have to pass. Have to pass, unfortunately. I mean, I'm curious why he didn't attack with uh, Darkrai. Will the new booster pack come tonight? No, uh, tonight only uh, the rule change. The packs to, to be opened uh, from, from, from codes are Thursday at 6 p.m. CT and coins Friday at uh, 6 p.m. CT. And it was, it's always like that, so you just have to wait. It's always the Friday and a day before. Uh, my day is good, like it's honestly really good. I've been playing a lot of, you know, Sword and Shield now, uh, went back to, 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 to the standard format, the standard expanded format in TCG, trying to play that, uh, baby Trizar deck, but it's just, well... But this is something. <laughs> I can tell you that. Right, come on. So we got a Charizard. One, two, three, f that's six. So it's 120, no matter what. Well, I just take some energy out of the deck. Yep, steam up, because, again, we're going to bring it back. And infinity. I mean, that was a great damage, you know. Um, Charmander. <laughs> now we're getting it. Now we're getting the Charmander. Do you think Zashin will be in... Uh, oh, I, I think you asked. I think, like, from 15 to 30. That's what I think. Uh, I might be wrong there, but it's uh, around that. 15, uh, that's a knockout on Victini. From 15 to, 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 to 30 packs. So I feel like you, know, you have more like actually opening it yourself than uh, getting one. But it's one of those. Yep, Dark Pulse. I mean, I'd have to have like incredibly amazing hand right now to even think about pulling it off. Which, well, we don't really have. It was a good game. Like, it, it was close. It was close. 160. One turn. One turn. But the game was good. Like, that game was really, really good. Uh, I can't say. Yeah, and Dark Pulse for the knockout. 330. GG. Oh, well, you know, it happens sometimes. It does happen. Alright, guys, so I will say thank you so much for watching me today. And we're going to see each other tomorrow. Right? And more Sword and Shield. And hopefully, you know, uh, do you know. Uh, do you know now play draw support? There is draw support in this deck, but it was just not enough. And yeah, like the rule says, you can't play a supported turn one if you go first. So thank you guys so much for watching me today, and see you guys tomorrow on another stream. And we're gonna get that master rank uh, hopefully tomorrow. And also, don't forget to check out you know the YouTube channel. Goodbye and good night. Raven loves you. Take care.